Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI in our Polish Winter series. So in the last episode, we, um, I don't know why the camera just zoomed way up there. In the last episode, we uh, were trying to knock out a, oh, there's another encampment. Wait, where did the encampment we were looking at go? Is it gone now? Okay, well there was an encampment there. Or maybe it's been cleared out, but now there's another one here. So we're gonna have to pay a visit to it with our improved swordsman here. Oh hey, swordsmen were supposedly updated. What's different about them? I can't tell. I'll have to, I mean, I, I can't tell from just looking now, but maybe there's a forum discussion going on somewhere that has it spelled out for me. All right, so let's keep these guys up here. Because apparently barbarian encampments are teleporting around now at this point. Not literally, but I don't trust another one not to pop up at the worst possible time. We are building an uh, entertainment, not I was going to say encampment, but an entertainment complex in Krakow to deal with an amenities issue that popped up, that's been popping up, actually. Okay, now we are, looks like uh, Teoti, uh, Teotihuacan is in, uh, <laughs> it's in Italy, which is kind of funny. So it's an Aztec Roman Empire forming in 680 BC. Who the thunk? Hey, Vilnius. Okay, we got a city-state up here. Nice. All right, so has anyone m met them? No. Or yes, they have been met. Of course they have. It's, it's turn 59. They've been discovered by other steps. Uh, so their quest for us is to destroy a barbarian outpost within five tiles. So there is a barbarian outpost somewhere nearby. There has to be. We'll figure out where it is. All right, there's the other one. I think this swordsman should be able to hold their own and get some experience to boot. Four turns away. This entertainment complex cannot come fast enough and all i ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by that's a good quote okay so open tech tree let's go and go for horseback racing uh horseback riding <laughs> it'll be done in two turns and we'll have access to some mounted units okay yeah uh i'm gonna keep looking at this direction because supposedly there is oh that's the one they want us to eliminate it's the one we're running from with this scout actually all right, let's move up here. All right, we can't go into here because we don't have open borders with the Aztec, but we do have open borders with Russia. We were stuck there when their borders solidified, but now things are a little better. Okay, let's just come down here. Meanwhile, you have some victories to pursue. Go after the scout first. Because, I mean, they have to come across a river to attack me. So I'm not as worried about them doing a lot of damage to me. <laughs> not that I'm worried about the scout doing a lot of damage to me, but I'm just thinking about efficient combat here. <laughs> More scared of the scout than I am of the spear. No hour of life is wasted that is spent in the saddle. Indeed. All right, let's, uh, let's finish off this scout. Good night. All right. That's taken care of. Of course, not a lot of experience from it. We've been talking about this. Okay, now engineering, construction, mathematics, and shipbuilding, and also apprenticeship is available. Colossus still gives that extra trade route. It was that way in Civ 5 as well. I think I'm going to go for engineering here so we get access to the aqueduct. We don't really need an aqueduct just yet in any cities, but just to have it and not worry about it would be a good thing. Ooh, what are you building? Okay, so Russia is building the Hanging Gardens. I'm not too, uh, I'm not too freaked about that. Let's go to the next turn and see what the game has in store for us. Watermill's going to be done. The have been oh. mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. <laughs> I, I confess, I actually, I've never listened to that quote all the way through. I've always heard the lines, the poets have been mysteriously silent, but I don't think I've actually heard that all the way through. That's, that's phenomenal. <laughs> oh, God. 
Okay, so now we can uh, have literary tradition if we wanted to. Plus two great writer points per turn if we wanted to put it into a wild card slot, but I don't. All right, let's choose our new civic research. I'm going to go for theology because we're Poland and they are pretty religious based. Um, all right, we, we're done with our entertainment complex. Let's go ahead and go for... Yeah, we, we already got plus one amenity, so the, the amenity situation is solved in Krakow. So I think what I should do now at this point is go ahead and build the water mill. And maybe we can continue upgrading stuff down the line as needed. If the amenity situation pops up again. And obviously we'll try and beat it to the punch. But right now I'm focused on making sure Krakow continues to build as rapidly as possible. Also we have a settlement to build up here. One of the luxuries of this series so far, we're in our third episode, we're approaching turn 75. Uh, one of the luxuries is that uh, we really, we don't have any civilizations near us. We have a lot of room to expand right now. The closest civilization we actually just met last episode, and that's Saladin. He's down here across the water. And of course, being across the water from us, it makes him less likely to try and settle our territory. So maybe I need to get a city down here sooner than later to where we have this mostly colonized. All right, our district is almost done in Roklaw, which is great. We've been a little bit behind on getting a campus established. It's almost 520 BC. We're well into the classical era, and we're just getting our first campus set up. But, I mean, it's it's kind of justifiable because, again, we've been trying to focus on getting a religion founded, which we did. We're Jewish. Judaism currently has a home in Krakow. Your knowledge of mathematics has advanced considerably. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead. Can't purchase anything just yet. Yeah, go ahead and go for the library. Get it built. Let's get the monument built in our new city. And we're going to need to find our way through all these units, unfortunately. Hopefully, hopefully I can make it. Ah, oh, son of a... Just walked right into a trap. Hopefully we'll be okay. We'll see how it goes. All right, so someone just finished another wonder. Oh, Russia just finished the Hanging Gardens. Big surprise. All right, lucky enough they did not attack me. That is a blessing. All right, I'm going to just take what I can get and try and move through here as rapidly as possible. All right, Krakow, you do... You don't have an amenities issue yet, so let's go ahead and keep focusing on districts. Yeah, let's put a campus right here, and this will give the holy site additional adjacency bonuses as well, having another district near it. Alright, so we're going to skip turns with that scout. Again, we're going to skip turns here. You need to heal up, and we'll work on that in a bit. You come over here and just go on alert status, please. I love that they added that. I wonder if the A hotkey is already set up for it. I'll have to try it, see if it works. Not actually sure, but we'll find out next turn. Or maybe the turn after that, because I need to get this unit down to a city first before we do that. Oh, Man goodness. suffers only because he takes seriously what the gods made for fun. Alan Watts, my man. All right, so let's go ahead and attack these swordsmen here. Or, no, <laughs> attack these horsemen with our swordsmen. All right. Ooh, great library is very tempting. Yeah, let's go ahead and go for that. Nine turns. Now, that is a wonder I want to build. All right, now, speaking of wonders, let's go ahead and get this culture bonus set up in Vilnius. Man, I cannot get anywhere. Okay, so Saladin's not happy with our dealing with city-states. He's going to have to deal on his own. Okay, well... All right, let's get you to Roclaw. Oh, we've got a Barbarian Scout, like, right next to Krakow. Let's deal with that, huh? Now, depending on where he goes, I might actually be able to finish him in the next turn. Yep, I can. Let's go ahead and finish the Scout. Because Scouts are annoying. Okay, we have an additional envoy. Let's go ahead and get the uh, 
Are we suzerain now? Yes, we are. We are suzerain of Buenos Aires. So what's their suzerain bonus? Might I ask? The city-state follows you into war and peace with other players. Your units may enter city-state lands. That's all normal. So... Oh, there it is. Buenos Aires unique bonus. Your bonus resources behave like luxury resources, providing one amenity per type. Nice. Okay, so that has solved our amenity issue. Well, not in Roclaw yet, but hopefully soon. Man, I am glad I went for that. That's fantastic. Especially considering that amenities have been a bit of an issue. You go ahead and fortify until healed. Now, no. A does not do it. So we're just going to have them fortify. A does not trigger the new alert function. In case you were wondering. Okay, the barbarians have decided they want to pay a visit to me. Which I am not very appreciative of. So we'll bring our units up north to pay them a visit. In response, Roclaw, what do you need? Can I purchase anything with faith? Not yet. I'm going to go ahead and get a settler built with Roclaw. We're going to get a settler down here. One man's magic is another man's engineering. Robert Heinlein. Those of you who've been following Stellaris and some of the videos I've done recently might recognize that name. Alright, let's uh take care of these guys. Okay. The horsemen are gonna be able to do a good amount of damage to me next turn if they attack me. That was not the smartest move. <laughs> but we'll we'll make do. Alright, let's go for I kind of want to go for shipbuilding, just have it knocked out of the way. We don't have any coastal cities right now, but I don't want to ignore that top end of the uh, of the tree. Let's see, I sh probably should build an encampment up here, but also I should build an, a commercial hub. Yeah, actually there's a really good spot for one right there. Let's do that. Okay, good, I can finally move through the territory here. And now we're probably going to get torn up, hopefully not completely beaten, by these horsemen. Cross your fingers. Cross them hard. Oh, nope. We actually did not. That's surprising. They had an opportunity to finish me off, and they did not take it. So let's... Okay. Now, I, I can't attack them this turn, but next turn I should be able to drive them out. Meanwhile, oh hey, a scout. Major defeat? Really? He must be a very high level scout. We are attacking across the river, so that's probably it. Alright, so our new settler is three turns away from being done. We also want to get a city up here as soon as we can. I am so glad we finally got out of Russia. God, we've been trapped in there. Uh... I wonder if there's a... I can't quite see, and I don't want to get closer. Yeah, there's a unit there. Every now and then you find a barbarian encampment that's just waiting to be cleared. Okay, let me go ahead and hit these guys. Good night. Two turns away now from... Our settler, which we're going to send down here if you missed that memo. Okay, this campus is almost done as well. History is the version of past events that people have decided to agree. Fantastic. So, Ooh, 100% campus district adjacency bonuses. I'm going to use that, but not right now. Okay. Why can't I build a great library? Oh, we need a library first. All right. Well, can I... Sweet! Buy it with faith. Ha <laughs> ha! Build it now? No suitable location. Ah, uh, the game is trolling me. All right, let's... Uh... We don't have an amenities issue right now. In any of our cities, actually, because of that bonus we got from Buenos Aires. So let's go ahead and go for the temple and crack out 
and up our faith output. Meanwhile, civics-wise, defensive tactics gives us... They both have two military policies. Let's go for that one first. I don't really think I plan on using any of them. So it's just a matter of getting through some policies for the purposes of research. We are in a bit of a pickle now, though, uh, because these units have us surrounded up here. So hopefully we can get that scout out before anything crazy goes down. Also, I need to find out where those barbarians came from. I feel like another encampment is nearby that's not that one. There were a number of units that came from the west. Oh no, please don't finish me off. I'm in their zone of control though, so I don't think I'm going to be able to escape them. Yeah, I'm not. Damn. See, this is what I was talking about. You might remember in episode one I mentioned that scouts can be difficult to take care of. You know, you just all of a sudden find yourself in a situation like this where you can't really save your scout and all you were doing was exploring up in an area you can it's possible to be very careful but you know that involves being able to pretty accurately predict all the just areas where barbarians might show up and surprise you by boxing you in like that so that's unfortunate okay this city is ready to build something i need to build the oracle no one's building it i'm gonna go for it let's put it right here Let's just put you on alert, and this settler can come down, and we're actually going to have a coastal city. We're going to put them right there. Saladin is not going to be happy with me, <laughs> but he is just going to have to deal with it. Yep, there goes our scout. Rest in peace. Sorry, I scout. I can't imagine any condition which would cause a ship to founder. Modern shipbuilding has gone beyond that. Do you see the irony of this quote? <laughs> okay now again just have a few technologies to go through here for the sake of finishing out the tech tree so I'll do that it is 80 BC we're about to hit that changeover <laughs> uh, let's come over here we need to get another city set up here as soon as we can actually next turn I think in Krakow would be a good time to build a settler we have access to missionaries now too all right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's also go ahead and purchase a missionary so we can start converting our other cities nearby. This warrior is slowly healing up while we if wait to I see... If I were again beginning my studies, I would follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. Cool. So we're waiting to see if maybe any barbarians are up here. Let's go ahead and move. Let's, let's clear out the fog of war a little bit. Choose research, construction. I hate that we lost that scout. I really do. Okay. Um, let's get Roclaw converted first. Excellent. Once again, <laughs> you guys know what to do uh, with that city name. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, we need to buy the granary. Let's just take care of that because we've got the money for it. And then let's go for the watermill second. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll look elsewhere in the future now that I have the land that I need. <laughs> All right, it is 1 AD. Also turn 76, so we hit turn 75, as was expected beginning of this episode. Um, should I go this way or... No, I'm going to go that way. Trying to clear the fog of war a little bit and see where another encampment might be. Where did those horsemen come from? Okay, spread religion. Not quite Jewish yet, but next turn it will be. There are so few people living in your empire, it must be hard to get anything done. You're a jerk. So I'm behind on my cities. Tough cookies. Everything will be okay. Okay, Roklaw is officially a Jewish city. Let's also move... I'm gonna move one tile further. Oh, okay. Here's a scout unit. So maybe there's a... Maybe there's one up here in the Fog of War. I need to pay that area a visit. Ah! 
Create with the heart. Build with the mind. Invincibility lies in the defense. The possibility of victory in the attack. The art of war. Huh. I want to keep that wonder bonus for now. I want to keep the production bonus. Yeah, I'm not going to change anything just yet. No policies are, are tempting enough right now for me to change the direction I'm heading. So let's go for apprenticeship so we can start building some industrial districts. That is what they're called, right? Yeah, industrial zones. It just seems weird. It's 120 AD to be thinking in terms of anything called industrial. But that's Civ 6 for you in its current state. Okay, we need to come up here. Let's see if we can find. Oh, there's some furs as well. Oh, hello. Really? Is that so? Well, in that case. <laughs> All right. Well, we now have someone to obliterate. Hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Um, let me go ahead and attack these guys here. That's annoying. I was just going to come up here and do some barbarian hunting, and now I've got to bring my army back down and get ready to fight. Uh, let's go ahead and work on building up envoys with soul. Almost said soul again. Multiple times in the first episode, I referred to it as soul. It's definitely soul. I don't know if, if, if the other pronunciation is accepted, but I treated it as though it was on multiple occasions in the first episode <laughs> except for one random time I think I, I think I just randomly said it right okay so we have our new settler and it looks like five turns and we'll be ready to go there we can build a city there I also I kind of want to build it more like right there so it's actually going to be seven turns if I build it there yeah I'd much rather have it a little bit closer to the coast okay I can't all right, we need we need to think about fighting. So let's go ahead and get another archer set up. Okay, we have a commercial hub now. Huh. We also have access to a new trade route. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and set that up. At the risk of not building everything military right now to prepare for war with Arabia, I just feel like Having a little bit of extra gold in the long run would be a good thing. And hopefully we'll be able to escape these guys that are trying to chase us. Alright, so they actually have some units near our new city that are going to be able to do some damage. That's unfortunate. I don't know how much damage they're going to be able to do. I have some money, so I could potentially uh, buy some walls. I don't remember how much the walls cost. We'll have to take a look. Alright, these horsemen are chasing me, but I am stronger than them. So that's probably not going to work in their favor. Hey, medieval era. That's we are perfect. We're all apprentices in a craft where no one ever becomes a master. Okay, what's this? Can purchase with faith. So, do we have access to Okay, just missionaries. Yeah, nothing I can purchase with faith anywhere else. Okay, so let's go ahead and go for machinery because I want my crossbowmen for obvious reasons. Walls are... not. To, I don't think I can purchase walls. That sucks. Alright, well, let's go ahead and build then... Well, crap. I can't build swordsmen because I only have... I need to improve this iron as well. Builder is 160 gold, so I can't buy a builder. Alright, so I need to improve another iron before I can... or build an encampment district before I can train up any warriors. That's a shame. We need a population of 10 or greater for the encampment district. We don't have an amenity issue right now. I'll tell you what, let's... I mean, they, they are going to have a lot of units in the water, so archers are going to be a good thing. Let me go ahead and just keep training archers in the meantime. We'll send this one down here. Yeah, I don't know how much they're going to be able to damage a city like this one with just a couple of cavalry units. I could be wrong, 
We'll see. If it's natural to kill, how come men have to go into training to learn how? Okay, don't want to change policies just yet. Or, wait a minute, do I? Hang on, we're at war now. Might need to think more seriously about. Yeah, bastions might be a good thing. Let's go ahead and replace charismatic leader with bastions. Yep, confirm. We'll keep that one for now. Alright, so that'll make everything just a little bit more manageable. They've pillaged our silk, jerks. You jerks. Alright, let's move our archers down into Roclaw. And now we need to research. Yep, feudalism. So we get that production bonus as an option as well. Whether or not we actually use it remains to be seen. We'll find out. I'm going to put this envoy in Seoul so we get the suzerain bonus. There's the magic noise. So we're now the suzerain. When you enter a new era, we earn one random Eureka from that era. All right. Um, I'm really kind of annoyed that these barbarians are chasing me down right now. I'll leave these archers here, and we'll deal with them. Hopefully he'll come down one tile farther, and the archer can just snipe him from a distance. Shouldn't take more than one shot. Yep. Stupid move. Stupid, stupid move. You're going to regret that. I sprang upon the swift ship in the form of a dolphin. Nice. Pray to me as Apollo Delphinius. Also, the altar itself shall be called Delphinius and overlooked forever. Okay. So we've got the oracle. Knowledge of machinery has advanced considerably. I'm going to have these guys fortify for now so they heal up. Meanwhile, these guys just allowed themselves to take some hits. Those archers are going to come down a little bit farther. You are going to die. Actually, no, you're not going to die. Really? Not quite, but they will now. Wow. You did a lot of damage to me before I finally killed that unit. And still just one experience from that. Need to fix that. I really think Barbarian XP just needs a bit of a buff. Let's see. Where's my trader? Did my trader get pillaged? Yeah, I don't have any traders right now, so... I've got one that I'm about to finish building. Yeah, I need to build another trader. At some point, my trader got pillaged and I didn't even notice. The game doesn't make a very big deal about that when it happens. You have to kind of watch your notifications and, and listen for like a particular noise. Um, it doesn't pop up anything in the middle of the screen to let you know that that's happened. Maybe they'll add that as an option. It would be nice. All right, Roclaw probably could use an encampment district. Since we're going to war here, um, that would be a welcome change. Looks like also we can train swordsmen now. So I'd rather have a swordsman, to tell you the truth. Let us be joined in friendship against the evil of the world. Evils, rather. Okay, so this... I'm going to wait until this I'd city is settled. I the whole world as one big machine. Machines never come with any spare parts, you know. They always come with the exact amount they need. <laughs> In a perfect world. Um, yeah, I want to go ahead and found this city. It's going to take a couple more turns uh, before I end the episode. I want to get that taken care of. All right, let's 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 get military tactics set up here. Choose production. I can build swordsmen now. Even though I didn't... Wait a minute. Did I adopt... Hang on. No, I didn't adopt a policy that gave me access to that. I don't know why... Maybe it's a suzerain bonus. Oh, okay. When we became suzerain of Seoul, they have one iron. 
That explains why we now have access to the ability to train swordsmen. But it's great, because it will help us fight off this invasion and potentially counter-invade, which would be fun. Upgrade crossbowmen, absolutely. I actually should have upgraded that unit, shouldn't I? All right, this trader... All right, we definitely need to trade with our newest city. Right now, it's not in the best position to trade, but I think these units will be cleared out by the time the, the trade unit gets down here. All right, they are right there. Right, our crossbowman is coming into range. I am very... Oh, good! That unit's finally promotable. Oh, wait, no. That's a level one archer, so that's that promotion is to be expected. Never mind. I feel like we just had a dearth of promotions. <laughs> Haven't had that many. Right, this crossbowman is now going to be able to fire on these guys. Oh, nope, they can't, actually. However... Okay, so let's go ahead and keep focusing on building additional units. We've got money for them right now. Catapult would be good. I'm going to go ahead and build ancient walls here so the city's protected. The city is definitely holding its own so far. <laughs> so far. We're going to move this unit all the way down here. This new trader needs... Tell you what, let's trade with um, with Laventa. We've already got trade routes lined up for all of our internal cities. All right, and then you just need to come up here. And next turn, we're going to found that city. The episode's running a little bit long, but I just wanted to get that city founded before we finished up here, so... That'll be the end of it. Okay. As soon as the walls go up, they're not going to be able to do as much damage to this city. And unless they get boats in, they're not actually going to be able to siege it. So, crossbowmen, work your magic. Nice little land war to end this episode here. Now, this unit, I believe, can go ahead and found Lublin. Hey! A name that I think I can pronounce. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and go for the granary to start off there. And then that'll be it for this episode. Hang on, let me just make sure I've exhausted the rest of my options for now. Oh, wait. <laughs> that was the next turn button. Okay, but yes, I will go ahead and cut this episode here. Uh, next episode, I think our objectives are clear. We've got to make sure, maybe found one more city here to connect the territory, but we also need to um, fight back against Arabia, who is just randomly invading us for no good reason. I mean, I know we settled close to them. Maybe they really, really, really had their eyes on this peninsula, so they're pissed at me now. But they're just going to have to deal because I'm currently destroying them. And it's kind of fantastic. See? <laughs> so anyway, we're going to focus on that stuff next episode. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe to follow along. New historical and grand strategy videos air daily at noon Eastern time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.